we can't simply throw kids out of places. We have to give them a place to go. And that's why we got started with our summer programming with Club KC, uh, with the night kicks, night hoops, night, night nets. And what, let me tell you what happens during the summer months as a direct result of those programs that we have. Um, in the first year that we started, right after the shooting incident on the plaza, in that first year, juvenile crime, both victims and perpetrators went down 16%, okay, during those times. In the second year, it went down 18%. That tells me something. Occupied minds and kids and bodies will do something more productive than get into trouble. If they're not occupied, then you're gonna find a bunch that get into trouble. So give them something to do. The next thing that we're trying to do is we really, really, really need jobs. The city, hires a lot of kids during the summertime. We had, I think we hired about 100 last year, give or take, but we had 350 show up for the interviews. What happens to the 250 we couldn't hire? What are they doing? It used to be when I was growing up, you had a summer job. If you didn't have a summer job, you don't come home. I mean, that's just the way it was. Because if you went home and mom was there, then you wish you had had a summer job so you wouldn't have to be there. There's 37 million of you out today. 37 million kids in about 3.5 million different places. All of you hanging out with your parents. Any day that you get to hang out with your parents in their place of employment is good because they get to come hang out with you at school sometimes, right? I met all the council, councilmen and women. Coolest thing I saw today was the vault. And so it was pretty cool because we got to step in and she showed us the money. Uh, so thank you all for being here this morning to help us kick off uh, what I believe will be another successful uh, summer of Mayor's Night's programs. The goal at the very beginning has always been to give our young people a safe place to go, safe place to have fun, some place where it was appropriate for them to be. Uh, when we are seeing a 12-week attendance number hitting uh, 12,000 mark, we know that what we provided was needed and wanted. Uh, those numbers tell us that 2013 was an absolute success, and we have every reason to believe that 2014 is going to be even better. This is the third Rock the Block, and it's getting bigger and better every year. And the reason it's getting bigger and better every year is because we have some great partners. But before I talk about them, I want to talk about you, and I want to talk about the kids in this city. The over 10,000 kids that have participated in basketball, volleyball, soccer, Club KC, Arts Tech, going to movies at the library this summer. Every one of them had a good time. They had a safe place to go and a safe place to be and they got to hang out with their friends, which is what every young person wants to do. I did when I was growing up, you did when you were growing up, that's what we want to do. They get to do it too. Because even though there are places that, they, that they're not necessarily always wanted to be, they're wanted to be at our stuff every single night during the summer on Fridays and Saturdays. So thanks to all of them that participated and thanks to all of you for participating. Thanks a lot, folks.